Are we feeling it already? Uh, we, we, of course, from the very start, na pumutok ang AI, notwithstanding that it's been with us for a long time, specifically pagputok ng chat GPT, and I think it's, it suddenly crystallized and dawned on people na ito na yung sinasabi, nangyayari na, oo, nako, paano itong, paano itong BPO sector natin? Are we already feeling that in terms of um, investment, in terms of seats, in terms of pot clients, potential clients that we're losing or are now, you know, not necessarily uh, becoming clients anymore? Are there indicators that it's already happening? That is a very interesting and loaded question. If I may step back a little bit, huh? uh, one of the things that we do in IDPAP is we go through a periodic exercise we call a roadmap. So we have recently launched Roadmap to 2028, and that's really following the national priorities of the Philippines so we can align our industry and then shape our initiatives according to the future that we want to forge for our sector. And so in Roadmap to 2028, we do, we do talk about digital transformation, we talk about AI, we talk about automation. But interestingly, that was not the first time that we mentioned it. Mm. Even our previous roadmaps have also set the path for us in terms of digital transformation, the rise of AI, as well as automation. So this is not news. It's not a new matter or an, an area of opportunity for the ITBPM industry. We have been gearing for that, and that's why our focus namin is really talaga upskilling and reskilling our talent. And where and how do we upskill them is on those areas that I, I briefly talked about earlier. Domain skills, digital skills, soft skills, and essential skills, it, they have to be multifaceted in order to keep up with whatever is happening in the global landscape.